Newer is not always better. Sometimes it's just newer. There are little tips and tricks that have been around for years, sometimes even taught in school, to help people remember facts. For those who struggle with which month has how many days, or is it IE or EI, the six old school tips that follow may be of great help to you. Keep watching and see if any of these ring a bell. One, months with 31 days. How many days are in September? You have two choices for figuring it out. First, consider using your knuckles on your hands. Start with the knuckle for your forefinger is January. The valley between the forefinger and the middle finger is February. Keep rotating between knuckles and valleys. The knuckles are the months with 31 days and the valleys are 30. If that's just a little complicated, you can go with the saying, 30 days have April, June, September, and November. All the rest have 31 days with February being an exception. Two, multiplying by 11. Multiplication tables can throw students for fits. An old school trick for 11 is that multiplying 11 by any number from one to nine gives you an answer that doubles the number that was multiplied. For example, 11 times one equals 11. 11 times two equals 22. 11 times three equals 33 and so on. Three, time till sunset. If you need a quick estimate of how much time you have before sunset, place your fingers under the sun. Count how many fingers it takes to fill the space between the sun and the horizon, then multiply the number of fingers by 15. This gives you how much time you have in minutes. Four, good battery or bad battery. Did you ever find a loose battery in the house and wonder if it's actually any good? The old school tip of dropping the battery onto a flat, hard surface from one or two centimeters in the air. If it bounces and falls, it's a dud. If it lands upright, it's a winner. Five, hand for degrees. If you need a quick reference guide for degrees, you can use your hand. You can take your hand and form a 90 degree angle from the thumb to pinky. If you spread your fingers out just slightly, then you have from pinky to ring finger, 30 degrees, pinky to middle finger, 45 degrees, and pinky to forefinger, 60 degrees. Six, finding south. In case you ever get lost and don't have a compass or smartphone with GPS that works, don't despair. As long as you have an analog watch and can see the sun, you can figure out the directions. Place the watch flat on your palm with the hour hand pointing to the sun. Find a toothpick or piece of grass and place it along the face of the watch between the hour hand and 12. The end of the toothpick or grass that is closest to the 12 should be pointing due south. With so many helpful ways to remember these tidbits, life just got a little easier. Yes, having smartphones means that all this knowledge is always at your fingertips, but when you can't get a signal, knowing how to do it the old-fashioned way can still come in handy.